Okay, we're just going to show a quick demonstration of what the Echook Nano board can do for your teams. Uh, we've just run it on our Wechook electric Tuvalu car for the last couple of hours here at Rockingham um, at the GP test event uh, with great success. Managed to log the whole time, got voltage, current, motor RPM, wheel RPM, all working flawlessly. Back here, hastily zip tied onto the car, is the Echook Nano. Um, you can see all the connectors for all the sensors are on there uh, and currently it's powered on. This bit poking out the top currently is the Bluetooth antenna. Coming to the front of the car and what we had just uh, on, on the front of our dashboard here so the driver could see is the, uh, the app that goes with it. That's currently connected via Bluetooth and logging to the device you just saw. So looking across the screen, currently throttle is not working in the, uh, in the app, but we have got good readings of voltage, current, temperature is not connected on this car but it does support it. Uh, we've got wheel RPM, uh, sorry motor RPM and then speed in miles an hour. Both of those N2 will need calibrating uh, based on the number of magnets we've got fitted to this car. We're going to get that um, after the race and we'll post-process the data before we put it online and show you guys. Just show you how it works. We've got a throttle control in the car here. That's connected up to the Etuke Nano. Through this connector here which then achieves the pulse width modulated signal which sends it to our custom motor controller back here. Motor controller is something separate but it's good to see that the Etuke Nano supports that kind of feature. So putting a bit of throttle on, you can see that the motor RPM comes up. Obviously because the wheel is spinning you also get some speed, although as I say we need to just calibrate those based on the amount of magnets we have. But you can see most importantly the voltage, the voltage slightly dips as the current just comes up there. Obviously the more torque you draw through the motor, the more current you draw. 